Well, hi ho Stampers, Deb Valder here, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and today I'm going to show you how to do this napkin card. It is actually an origami card, and I just absolutely love origami. The folds, the creases, um, I just love origami. With this card, this is the one I'm going to do in my over-the-top wow class, but um, I wanted to show you um, just how the mechanics of this one works. So what you're going to do is you're going to take and you're going to slide off this little belly band that I have here, and when you open it up, it just opens up absolutely gorgeous. This is um, our new designer series paper and it is called Back to Black and it just is absolutely gorgeous and you just see all of the cuts. It's It looks very complicated but it is so easy. So let's get going. I want to show you how to do it. Like I said, this one is going to be in my um, Wow Over the Top class and you can order that through a virtual class. So just hop on over to my blog for all the details. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with an 8x8 piece of cardstock. This card will fit into a regular size envelope, so that's a good thing. 8x8, um, eight eight, that's what you start with. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, Simply Score tool, and we're going to start to score at the... We're going to start to score at the 2-inch uh, two, mark, and I just put my, my scoring tool right in the 2-inch mark, and... I run it down and then I'm going to go to my 6 inch and I'm going to just run it straight down. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to score at the 2 and I'm going to score at the 6. Alright, so now I have my first two scores. The next thing that I need to do is I need to put my um, diagonal scoring tool on and this just goes right over my diagonal scoring tool. This is the diagonal plate. Now what I'm looking for is this little arrow right here because that arrow has to go to the top of your scoring tool. So I'm lining that up and just laying it on and these scores are going to be um, at the um, 4 and the 6 inch mark. So I'm going to go over to the 4. I'm going to find my, my um, little niche and I'm going to go over and I'm going to score and I'm going to find my little niche. You see how I just kind of wiggle it a little bit just to make sure I'm in the groove and then you're going to go down. Now watch this and this are lining up with my square points right here and you'll see that this one runs right through this little this little um, hash mark right here. We're going to take and we're going to turn it and we're going to do the same thing here. I'm at the six inch mark and I'm just going to kind of wiggle to make sure I'm inside the crease and I'm just going to drag it, okay? And then I'm going to go over to the 4 inch mark and I'm going to wiggle and I'm going to drag. And I'm going to do that on all four sides. I'm going to go in, wiggle, and drag. And see, I'm going right through. That's how I know I'm doing it right. I'm going from point to point. And we're just going to drag. We're going to take this one and go from 4 and then 6. This tool right here, this diagonal tool right here, and the scoring tool um, just make this card so much easier. Now on the inside you will see that we have a perfect little um, square on the inside. We're done with our diagonal plate and our regular scoring tool, so we can take and put that aside. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to make our folds. So you want to take your straight lines and you want to fold them up. You can go up and back if you want just to make them nice and sturdy. You definitely want to use your bone folder. We're going to take and we're going to do them on all four sides. Go forward and then go back. Go forward. This is going to make your folding of your origami um, really, really nice. It's like if you're a sewer, you want to make sure that you iron as you go along because if you don't iron, the creases aren't going to be good and then everything isn't going to line up. So here is my, my four square folds. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to score all, or we're going to fold all of my diagonal folds. And you want to do the same thing. Going back and forth like this, what happens is, is it makes the, um, the crease is just so much better, especially with uh, cardstock as opposed to designer series paper. Okay, so we're going to take and we're going to do that here. Just bear with me on all these folds, but at the end, you're going to absolutely love it. And we have one more. And here's this one. Okay. 
Alrighty, so now we have everything folded. Whoops, I did, I forgot this one. And you can really tell when you don't do one. Okay, now I think I have all the folds. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to actually fold it up. Now, if you see right here, we've got these large triangles and these are the smaller triangles. If you take that large triangle and just push it to the inside, it is going to fold all by itself. See, just like this. You're going to take and you're going to push that in, just push that in, and you see how this little square comes up? You want that little square, okay? So you're going to take and you're going to push that in, we're going to go over to this one on this side, and we're going to push that one in. When you push that one in, this automatically folds, and you can see that there's a square here. That square wants to be right there on the top. Don't worry about this fold yet. We're just worrying about the ones that are folding in for the, um, for the, uh, the little squares here on top. Then we're going to turn it. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take and we're going to push it in, and then we're going to come back over here, and we're going to take and we're going to push this one in. All right. So now we have this thing. Do you remember when you were a kid and we made those little things that open up? That's kind of what this looks like right now. The next thing that we have to do is we have to fold these little guys back. All right. So I'm just taking and I'm folding these little tabs back just like this. And there is our card. That's it. I told you it was easy. I told you origami is so awesome, and it just looks so spectacular. So that is our card right there. Now it's time to decorate. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your designer series paper, and you're going to cut eight um, squares that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And this time I'm using this designer series paper, and this is called Flower Pot, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love all the paper in our, our new catalog. So what I did was I cut eight squares that were one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and I cut two squares that were two and a half by two and a half. Then what I did was I took my cutter, and I will show you my cutter. Here we go. Um, I took my cutter and I cut the pieces in half. So this is one of my two and a half by two and a half inch squares and what I did was I put it on point. So I like to leave this in the middle of my square because have you ever taken this and gone and, and kind of cut down and what it does is it just kind of wrinkles the end of it. So if you start your cutter in the middle of your square it won't do that and you just go up and down. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm lining this up point to point. I like to do it while this is down, but I wanted to show you this point, okay? And let me just push this up just a little bit. Um, I'm lining up this point and this point inside this little gully right here, okay? So we're gonna lay this down, it's on point to point, and then I'm just gonna go up and then down. And you see how there's no wrinkles at the top or the bottom? You just start it in the middle, you go up, and then you go down. So here's one of our, um, this is just one of our sets of triangles that we're going to use. I just wanted to show you how I cut them. Now we need to um, decorate. So we're going to take and we're going to open up our piece like this, and you see all these little tiny squares right here? These right here are the ones we're going to decorate, not the four in the middle that are um, the bigger ones. We're going to use our little squares first. So these are our one and three quarter by one and three quarter squares. And what you want to make sure you do, if you have a pattern, you want you don't want to just cut them up and throw them into a pile. You want to make sure that the pattern stays together so that when you put it together, they're going to be um, matching. If I took this one and let's say this one and put them together, they don't match. And that might might be the look that you're going for, but I want to kind of, I want just want the one that, um, they. I just like to match. I'm just a matching kind of person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to add all of these little squares to all my outside, or sorry, tri they're now triangles, and I'm going to add those to my outside triangles. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and here is um, what I'm doing. What I what remember I told you they um, do match. So what I'm doing now is putting these on the sides, and if you look at it, these two when they're opened up actually match. So I'm almost done putting all of my little um, smaller triangles on. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting my larger triangles on, and they just fit right here in the square, right in up here. 
Okay, so you see the pattern that's forming? Um, you also want to make sure when you're putting your adhesive on that you're going very close to the edges. You don't want any of these to stick up. So make sure you're using your silicone mat and putting all of your triangles on um, with, with, um, with your, your snail adhesive. Okay, and here's my last one. And even just looking at this, let me see if I can zoom out just a little bit. Even just looking at this, um, you've got such an amazing pattern and, and thing just going on here. The inside piece, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put on um, a, a, uh, a um, middle square, which is three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I'm doing this in the white because that matches the rest of the designer series paper. And what's nice about our designer series paper is on the back of it, whoops, that's crooked. On the back of it, you can take and you can see what colors coordinate with this. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me just straighten that out a little bit here. We want it to be straight. Okay, so this is what it looks like if it's all laid out flat. Now remember, what I said was you're just going to take and push these in. After it's folded for a little while, it will automatically go in with no problem at all. So I'm just kind of pushing these little squares in here, and that's what our outside looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so here's our outside just like that. Now what we have left to do is to make that belly band and to do our stamping. So what I'm going to do is I took um, a piece of cardstock and for our, our belly band um, this is uh, nine by one and one quarters and then the inside piece which is still that same designer series paper that is just nine by one and what I like to do is to take a bone folder and just kind of start it to curve I do not put any score marks in here because I want it to be nice and loose as we're um, folding it around now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this flat and I'm going to Actually, I'm going to do it this way, and then I'm going to slide it off. But right here, we're going to take and we're going to fold it around. What I want to do is I want to put adhesive on this side, and I want to put it on the back side. And then the two shall meet like this. Now, if I, wasn't, if I didn't have my new Fast Fuse, which is what I'm going to use, I would be using Sticky Strip because you want to make sure you have the best glue possible. So like I said, you're going to take and you're going to put your adhesive. Let me just get my silicone mat because I use this for everything. Um, I'm going to take my silicone mat and I'm going to put it on the back side of one and I'm going to put it on the front side of the other one so that when we wrap it around they're going to meet. So I'm going to just start here and I'm going to loosely Whoops, you want to go this way. This is the this is the one with the uh, with the glue side up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to, you want to work on your silicone mat. You're going to take and you're going to just wrap it around just like this. See? And then wrap it around because you want to catch the edges here. And then on the back, you're just going to take and put the two of them together. You want it to be a little bit loose so that it comes off fairly easy when you're when you're um, taking it off. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and I'm going to slide it off just like that. You saw how easy that was. And then I'm going to turn it around because I do want I do want this um, this seam in the front because we're going to have that covered up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to slide it back on again just like this. And remember, it's going to be a little bit loose the first couple of times before it, it learns that it's this is its new home. It's going to be a little bit tough getting it on. Not too bad, though. And then you're just going to take your fingers and just slide it right on. Now, when the person receives your card, all they have to do is slide it off. So here's that. And now I have my little diamond that I'm going to put on just like this. And this piece right here, the diamond, the the navy blue diamond is two by two and the white piece is one and three quarters by one and three quarters and I'm going to take and I'm going to again use my um, either sticky strip or my new um, I'm actually going to put it right on the belly band because I want to make sure I get it right into the right spot and that I did right in the middle okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to line up my diamonds see right here I'm lining them up with my seams so I'm lining them up with this seam right here, and I'm lining them up in the middle of my belly band, just like that. Now, you probably should have stamped beforehand, but what I can do is I can just slide this off, and I'm going to stamp. I really should have stamped before, but let's just do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to coordinate this with the colors in the... Um, in the designer series paper so I'm using the um, Lost Lagoon which is that color right there and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do the um, the little uh, candle and I'm just gonna stamp that Lost Lagoon is gonna be lighter than um, our um, 
Knight of Navy. So that's my Lost Lagoon. And then I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and right over the top of that, I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp the Woohoo from the same stamp set. So I'm going to take, and it's called Big News. And I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp that right over the top. So there's my Woohoo. So that's the outside of my belly band, but remember we have to stamp on the inside. So this is a birthday card for my nephew who is turning one. He's actually my great nephew, but he's adorable. And I'm going to take and I'm going to go on the inside of this. At one years old, it's all about the parents, okay? So I know that they're going to absolutely enjoy this card. And I'm going to take and put it right up here to the top only because... I want to make sure that I have room to sign our names down here at the bottom. Isn't that an absolutely adorable, absolutely adorable um, birthday saying? So now what we're going to do is we're going to close the whole thing up just like this. Just close it right up. And I'm going to add the belly band so that you can see what it looks like all completed and how easy it is to just stick inside the pocket without getting it into my ink pad here. I'm just going to slide that on, and what you do is you slide it on as far as um, the, the two middle creases, and it holds it all down, but yet it still gives you that lift so it looks absolutely adorable, and lots of depth. That's what I absolutely love about this. Lots and lots of depth. So that's my card for today. I hope you enjoyed my post. It's called a napkin fold card, and I just love it. Remember, this fits into a regular size envelope, which is awesome. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my post. Hop on over to my blog to get all the written de details and all the, um, it's, there's a tutorial. You can just copy and paste it into a Word document, print it off, and you are good to go. Take care, have a great day, and see you later.